Hello friends, Joe here at Reverb. Roadworthy guitars. This term can mean many different things to different people. But generally, when we're talking about a guitar being roadworthy, there are a few things we should be able to expect from it. First of all, reliability. We want something on the road that can keep up with us night after night, show after show, load in, load out, time and time again. Generally, we want the guitars to sound good, which means good pickups and quality electronics. Secondly, we want to talk about versatility. In the studio, it's easy to switch guitar to guitar to get different sounds, try different things, and experiment in that way. But on the road, you might want to bring just one or two guitars, or might even only have the capacity to bring one or two guitars, unless you're the Rolling Stones or John Mayer, that are going to cover a lot of ground sonically and vibe-wise to capture what you need for your show. Now, obviously Fender and Gibson are known for having roadworthy and reliable guitars, but there are many other newer brands that are unique and have very cool styles and that may save you a few hundred bucks. Today, we're gonna to get into 15 brands, not Fender, Gibson, or Epiphone or Squire for that matter, and not vintage, that are gonna be reliable, roadworthy guitars. Let's get into it. Let's start with Paul Reed Smith, the John Mayer Silver Sky and Silver Sky SE. Everyone's favorite Strat that isn't a Strat. Fender, of course, having nothing to do with this guitar, but there's no hiding Leo's influence on what has to be the most controversial signature guitar released. PRS then followed it up with an Indonesian-made SE version, which will set you back way less cash, but still makes for a great roadworthy guitar. Featuring the classic double cutaway and three single coil pickup configuration, this guitar gives you amazing tone in all five positions, as well as the classic Paul Reed Smith build quality and playability. Another PRS model that is affordable and roadworthy is the PRS S2 Vela. If you're not into the traditional PRS design but want the playability and quality associated with PRS, their S2 Vela offers a more stripped back approach, ditching the fancy figured tops and adopting a more roadworthy and rock and roll attitude. The S2 Vela represents PRS's take on the offset body design. It's got a humbucker in the bridge and a bright chimey single coil on the neck. That bridge pickup can also be split, essentially turning it into a single coil, making the Vela super versatile and an ally to any guitarist out playing shows. Next on the list is a personal favorite of mine. I've owned a guitar from this company for years and I absolutely love it, Reverend. Reverend operates in a sweet spot, blending quality with affordability. These guitars are played by a wide range of players, including some well-known pros, but you can pick one up here on Reverb for a good price. The Jetstream 390 is really well built and features three P90 pickups along with a five-way pickup selector. It's a little like a supercharged Strat. You can get those position two and four choppy, funky sounds, but you've got the added warmth and bite of the P90s. This makes it ideal for loads of different types of music. Adding to that, locking tuners and a quality Wilkinson tremolo system, and you've got yourself a unique and super roadworthy guitar. Let's talk about Schecter, a brand that often appeals to the hard rock and metal players but their PT Special is a guitar that most certainly appeals to the wider range player. The PT Special is sort of a modern approach to the Telecaster, which is known, of course, for being one of the most roadworthy guitars ever made. The P90 in the neck gives you a bit of bite and growl, and combined with the bright, glassy snap of the bridge single coil, can make for some really interesting middle position sounds. Both the back of the body and the neck heel have slight contours for extra comfort, and the fingerboard has a modern, flatter 12-inch radius. The PT Special is a ton of fun to play and can cater to a lot of different playing styles. Honestly, there isn't much not to love about this one. Okay, if you dig the vibe and the style of lots of different kinds of vintage guitars, but you don't want to put up that kind of money for a guitar, you must check out Eastwood. Eastwood has been around for quite some time. They're at the forefront of bringing back classic designs made in the catalog guitars from companies like Airline and Silvertone, and also dabble in recreations of rare European models from the mid-century. Most of their models can be had for well under $1,000, but make no mistake, these guitars are built solidly and are incredibly stylish and versatile. We especially love their solid body airline designs. Next on the list, Sterling Guitars. Sterling is the more affordable wing of Ernie Ball Music Man, and they have versions of many of their flagship models, as well as signature guitars from awesome players like John Petrucci, Albert Lee, and St. Vincent. We love their budget signature models because these guitars are unique designs that won't immediately scream out that you're playing someone's signature model. You can really make it your own. And much like Fender's top tier made in Mexico guitars, the Sterlings are very well built and ready to go. What says quality like a guitar company that's been around for almost 100 years? Let's talk about D'Angelico. D'Angelico has been in the guitar biz since the 30s. 
And while they're famously known for their elaborate arch tops and jazz boxes, in recent years, they have made a ton of unique and classic designs with Art Deco flair that really make them stand out. We love their pickup designs and most of their guitars have a neck design that's slim and universally playable. If you like a guitar that feels original and vintage without being a Fender or Gibson, you gotta check these out. Okay, this next one might be cheating a little bit because of the clear association with Leo Fender, but I guess it's cheat day. Let's talk about G&L guitars. While G&Ls are technically not a Fender, they're a great way to get those classic designs and sounds for a great price. Many G&Ls have features you just wouldn't find for the same price point on Fenders, like the weird Z-coil pickups on a Comanche or the block inlays on the Tribute Series Doheny. We've been saying it here for years, do not sleep on Yamaha. The Yamaha Revstar series is somewhat of an undiscovered gem. They've been around for a few years now, but the build quality and functionality of these guitars is amazing, especially when you consider how much you can get one for. The Yamaha Revstar 2 standard RSS-02T has a pair of P90 style pickups. They are quite bright sounding, so you can really help cut through a live mix. You got a five-way pickup selector with positions two and four giving you some classic in-between sounds with a bit of a twist. The tone knob also acts as a pull boost. Engaging this darkens your tone a bit and gives you more aggressive mids and a slightly increased overall output. The chambered body lightens the load of the guitar while the carbon reinforced neck helps keep things super stable while you're out on the road. In the last few years, a lot of players have been looking to this particular guitar for something that's reliable, functional, and versatile. It's the Charvel Pro Mod DK24 HSS. It's got a hot Seymour Duncan full shred humbucker in the bridge that's going to be able to deal with any sort of rock you might need to play. But then it's got two of their Strat style single coils too. So if you wanna get a little mellower, totally can do that as well. A nicely sculpted body makes it really comfortable to play for long stretches. Plus that contoured neck heel and lower bout allows you to get all the way up the fretboard super easily. It's got a caramelized maple neck, which looks and feels awesome, but also the neck has graphite reinforcement, so if you're traveling from city to city through different kinds of weather, then the neck isn't gonna budge too much. Ibanez is another great budget option. These models play fast and hard and keep in tune on the road. Here are a couple of our favorite models. The Ibanez Premium AZ42P1. Here's a great example of a roadworthy guitar that can do it all combining the classic Strat style body shape with ultra modern features. The Ibanez AZ42P1 can cater for hard rock and metal, just as it can for pop and country. It's fitted with a pair of Seymour Duncan Hyperion humbuckers. These have a fairly high output, but remain clear and defined, even when played through a high gain rig. What's really cool about this guitar though, is the Dynamix 10 switching system, which basically gives you 10 different tones at the flick of a switch from chunky humbucker sounds to glassy single coils. Throw into the mix some world-class hardware and a roasted maple neck, and you've got yourself one of the best guitars for covering all styles of music when you're out on the road. And next, the Ibanez RG421. This is a straight up hard rock metal machine. Twin humbuckers and a five-way selector give you a variety of tones to play with, and the hardtail bridge makes sure your tuning is locked in for the heaviest and sweatiest of shows. The thin neck profile is a dream to play. Whether you're riffing down to the low end or ripping it up up top, it's a fun, simple, affordable, and for heavy players on the road, it's perfect. Next up is a pro-level, roadworthy guitar that harkens back to the metal heyday. It's the Jackson Pro Plus Dinky DKAQ. Straight away, you'll notice the Floyd Rose bridge system. If dive bombs and wild sounds are your thing, then here's the guitar for you. You've got two Seymour Duncan humbuckers with the bridge pickup giving you a hotter attack, plenty of mid-range and top end, as well as a tight low end. The neck's a little more vintage flavored, which is nice, as it gives you tonal palette to play around with. These guitars look amazing and they're built rock solid. The bolt-on neck even has graphite reinforcement. All in all, a great roadworthy guitar for any shredder looking for a serious instrument. Okay, I know that there are some players out there like me that want a vintage Gretsch, uh, that do not want to pay vintage Gretsch pricing. So, if you want a good Gretsch for a great price, check out the Jet Players Edition. The Gretsch Players Edition guitars have been designed for the working professional. They're made specifically to sound great for whatever style of music you're playing, perform well night after night, and be comfortable to play for long stretches. The Players Edition Jet features the classic combination of mahogany body and maple top. The body's also slightly chambered, which lightens the load a little bit. Now this thing sounds amazing, and it's mostly thanks to the Broadtron BT65 pickups as designed by pickup legend Tim Shaw. Whether you're playing rock, country, pop, 
blues, jazz, this thing has got you covered. It's super versatile, it's a lot of fun to play, it's really well built, and it was destined for life on the road. Okay, and I know that these are definitely far and away the priciest guitars on this list, but when you consider Gretsch Custom Shop or Made in the USA or the vintage prices, this is like a really awesome guitar. The fact that you can get one on reverb for 1,500, 1,600 bucks is pretty special. Check them out. I can already feel some of you in the comments going like, Joe, why'd you put this unaffordable guitar in the affordable guitar list? Okay, I hear you. So let's stay with Gretsch. Check out the Streamliner models. Super cool Gretsch vibe, block inlays. You can find these things for $250, $300 on reverb. Um, so that Gretsch style, that classic vibe, check those out for sure. There you go. Okay, I know what you're thinking. You want another metal guitar. You want the brand to be three letters. Okay, let's talk about the ESP LTD EC256. ESP and LTD's take on this classic guitar design gives a more contemporary edge to the otherwise traditional single cut. As you'd expect, it's fitted with a pair of humbuckers. However, both are equipped with coil splits accessed via the tone knob, making it more versatile than you might first think. If you're playing sets that switch between rock, funk, jazz, and whatever else, and you're gonna want a guitar that can give you different tones to suit, which this can't. Looks wise, they nailed it. It's metal enough for the metal players, but it, it's also a little more subtle than many of ESP and LTD's other models. Okay, and for the last one on the list, let's go for a classic. Well, technically it's a remake of a classic. The Dan Electro 59M NOS. Only a few small changes to the original, the biggest being that they've changed the bridge so now it's much easier to alter the intonation on it. It's got the classic look and more importantly, feel. These are super light guitars, so if you're looking for something that's gonna be easy to play and can rock for hours and nights, this is one to consider. The pickups are apparently new old stock, that is, they found a bunch of old pickups at the factory and used them. They're fairly bright and can be a little thin sounding, particularly in the bridge position, so they won't work for everything. But if you're into punk rock or indie or definitely surf, this might be a roadworthy guitar you've been looking for. The reason I think this is a cool list is because getting a new guitar for the road is something that expands your capacity. It diversifies your expression. We have our favorite guitars that we keep in the studio or at home, and we're probably gonna have those for the rest of our lives. To have something new and fresh and maybe unique and affordable is, it just allows you and kind of empowers you for more style, more vibe, more sounds, and it makes you a little less precious while out on the road, which makes you less stressful while out on the road. Get on the road, try some new roadworthy guitars, check them out, let us know in the comments what you think, and thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.